Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Felt like being a little sassy today, a little snarky, so boy do I have a good one for you. Gun rights have more rights than women has been a buzzword straw man in gun control's back pocket for years, an accusation perfectly constructed to make people emotional without any logical follow through. I have actually wanted to do a video on this argument for years. I am, after all, a woman, though I will admit I am not a biologist. So I guess we can't be sure. But you know, there's always other things popping up in the news and uh, I didn't get to it. But <laughs> Democratic squad member Rashida Tlaib recently made the accusation again when she posted a clip of herself at a congressional gun violence hearing. Guns now have more rights in our country than women do. It's sick. It's disgusting that campaign donations from the NRA and gun manufacturers have bought an action and bought our, the silence of many of my colleagues and blocked many, many important major reforms that we need to keep our community safe across our nation. She doesn't say what these rights are, except that she says Republicans value guns more than they value the lives of children, which is a little ironic coming from a champion for abortion. That's another topic. We're not doing that one today. But before I get into the guns versus women debate, this video is brought to you by Blackout Coffee Company. Blackout is a family owned and operated coffee roaster based out of sunny Florida and is personally responsible for some of these really sassy videos. When that caffeine is going, mmm. <laughs> Blackout Coffee also supports my channel, the Second Amendment, and veterans. They have also partnered with some of your favorite gun rights groups on special partner roasts where the purchase of each one donates directly to those groups. And now they've even expanded into instant coffee, so there is no reason not to check them out because you know what? If you don't like coffee, they've got tea and they've got hot chocolate. So to check them out and help support the channel, go to blackoutcoffee.com slash Liberty Doll. So the first glaring problem in this argument is the simple fact that guns are inanimate objects and don't have rights. But for the sake of her argument, we'll sweep that one under the rug. So let's break it down. First of all, women are allowed to vote. Guns aren't. That one seems a little obvious with the whole personhood thing. So let's keep going. Women carry around 200,000 to 300,000 eggs after puberty, yet, no one calls them assault eggs, and so far, no one has banned our high capacity ovaries, though generally speaking, there is only one per trigger pull. I don't know if I'm able to get through this with a straight face. Barring certain places and certain religions, women can go wherever we please. Women are allowed on airplanes, we're allowed in court, at polling places, though I know some of you wish we weren't, in church, post offices, schools, and even stores and malls, though sometimes, that is also not a good thing because dollars are typically not just one per trigger pull. We are even, get this, allowed outside without a special permit. This great big outside even includes parks and national monuments, which you cannot say for firearms. So then logic follows that if we are instead talking about an armed woman, well, then that is the one time that she cannot go into those places. That is a big bad no-no. Now, in the off chance that you do go somewhere where your woman isn't allowed, you definitely cannot lock her up in the trunk while you're gone. Even just locking her in the car with the windows up is probably not going to end well for you. Or if you decide to just leave your woman at home, which is a possibility, you're allowed to do that without locking her up. Because if you did, that's actually a, a, a crime, unless you're into some freaky stuff. Guns, <laughs> not so much. Generally speaking, women free zone signs would probably go over really badly. So would flat out woman bans. Women can also choose to live with convicted felons, though while felons are people too, it might not be in the woman's best interest depending on the charge. But hey, you know what? Us women are also allowed to make decisions, even bad ones. No one regulates what shoes we're allowed to wear, what accessories we can have, and no one requires us to have a serial number tattooed on our ass. Instead, we just have to memorize it and hope no one ever steals it. Now, while there are plenty of laws regulating guns of certain sizes and banning ones that are too small or too big, <laughs> it is socially frowned upon to ban a woman for being too big. Social media would even tell you the bigger, the better. 
in fact, unlike guns, not playing with a woman that's too big, then you're gonna get all kinds of nasty feminist articles written about you because you know what? You're phobic. And there's no alphabet agency to appeal to if you want a woman with an arm brace or hearing aids or any other functional device. Or if you just like the silence and you're into ball gags. Now, one major difference is that it is illegal to sell women. While if you want to sell guns, well, actually the ATF is still up in the air about how exactly that's going to work, but it looks like you'll need a special permit for that, but you can do it. So slavery bad, but commerce good, so we'll call that one a draw. There also aren't any women buyback programs out there, though I bet there are quite a few ex-husbands that wish there were. Another funny thing about women is we don't require background checks just to exist. You don't need a background check to marry a woman, bring one home, or even go on a date with her. You don't even need any training. <laughs> Sometimes it would probably save us a lot of trouble. There also isn't a whole tapestry of state laws around women that you have to navigate, nor do you need to call the police and inform them if your woman is traveling across state lines. States will tell you to do that with guns, but I don't know anyone who actually does. And if you get pulled over, you don't need to announce the presence of a woman in the car or worry about getting shot because there's a woman in your car or house in most cases. ATF. Random household objects are also not often mistaken for women and that mistake typically doesn't get you shot either. Though if you work at a GameStop, your displays might get torn down. And finally, while you do have a right to keep and bear arms, you do not have a right to keep women. In, in fact, keeping a woman against her will generally ends in a prison sentence. All right, folks, that is all the differences that I could come up with. If you have some more that I missed, please leave them down in the comments. Maybe they'll be enough for a second video someday. In the meantime, please like, share, and subscribe if you are new here. Ring that notification bell. Boy, do I miss doing some of these sassy videos. <laughs> Always a fun time. And as always, thanks for tuning in and happy shooting. Thank God I am not a stand-up comedian.